Hello everybody, this is Kevin Ho and we are here to see this spectacular new home listed with our friends uh, David Cohen and Ron Apta at City Real Estate, 250 Jersey Street. Now the facade here betrays the fact there's a large structure behind it and they did a great job of redoing this. In fact, this is done by one of uh, the folks who is our client who we worked with before and he always, and his partners always, insist on doing fabulous projects. This is one of those. Now we're located here at 250 Jersey on this particularly beautiful and flat part of Jersey Street. 24th Street's just right over there. Noe's over there, Sanchez over there. So you couldn't get any better than being in the epicenter of Noe Valley. You can see the tippy top of the building here. So this project's been years in the making and we'll go inside and see it. I love this color. I love the detailing that it highlights and it's all monochromatic, but it's so nicely done. So let's go in here. Hello. And here we are. Hi. Hi, everybody. So there's David. He says hello. And my gosh, look at this. Almost 4,000 square feet or more. Just over 4,000 Just over 4, square feet. But this, I love this thing. The stairs are amazing. And let's take a look. Broad, open feel here. Look at this island, boffy cabinetry, beautiful appliances. Love the ceiling height. Look at that. Just broad and open. And we get back here. Lovely fireplace. I love the uh, metal working here. And then we've got half bath. Now the design is fantastic. It's been done with Mosley, great architects here. You have the in-wall um, tap, and then you've got the honed stone here, floating cabinets, lovely wide plank floors, big open uh, patio door back here, which looks out into your neighbor's border collie. And you have a lovely backyard here. I love the fences. I love the, just the, the, the look is just so smart. Hey, how are you? And like here, you've got one of the rooms and we'll be going up to the top levels too. Over on this side, you've got the uh, water for if you want to do an outdoor grill, I think. You've got a little light there and your outlet. And back over here, you can see the nice stucco work. Oh, plaster, stone work, wow. Stone work, wow, that's really impressive. So let's look back here. Let's do some measurements from back here to the front. See if I can actually grab that. 54 and a half feet. Over here, you have a lovely pantry. Outlets, things here, and then your big island. Big deep cabinetry. Look at that. Your built in wine refrigerator. Nice sink. Carpet here, and then over here, your Gaggenau appliances, and then your stove, your hood. Really just quite lovely. Going back through to the garage. Well, not the garage, it's the pantry. The garage is downstairs, what am I thinking? Love the window seat there. Now let's go upstairs. We'll see the garage in a second. This staircase is super impressive. Solid, you got this beautiful oak. It's a solid feel. Look at the detail in here. The edging slightly angled in. It's a nice detail. Nice handrail. Love the handrail brackets too. And we're on this floor. So this floor, you start with a parapet patio. Parapet patio, that'd be an interesting uh, superhero parapet patio. And you've got the water supply there. You've got storage under here. And both the rooms open out. Or is it, no. The hallway opens out. This room opens out. Let's take a look. Let's see how tall the ceilings are. Nine feet. Lovely height. Then seamless threshold into a Jack and Jill bathroom. Nice countertops here. Thin wall treatment. Love the recess ambient lighting and then you've got your toilet nice tile here again with Sean like trim they turn on so it comes on so you don't have to get wet nice trimless uh, base there and then you've got closet and bedroom and then this is your primary in here again with a low trim feel toilet dual vanity nice in wall sink 
and Kroger Shower. Put these lights on for you here. You've got the lens. Ooh, I like this tile. Nice and textured, a soft feel, big niche. You've got the step into the shower. You've got a big shower hang, dual shower heads, Hans Grohe, and again, with the great lighting. Look at that effect, really just smartly done. Over here, we see the back of the home. You've got the closets there, the closets here. Lovely view, remember we were just downstairs. Take a view, there's the outdoor dining, outdoor yard. I like that fence a good deal. And then, that's nicely done. Look at the uh, trim up here. I think it's the tech in intra, where it's mudded into the um, uh, sheetrock when they do it. So this one, two, three bedrooms. We still have one more floor of stairs and then one part downstairs to go. So when we get to the top, we can see that there's an extra uh, junction box if you want to do a different light fixture or one that's very really lovely. You've got the air conditioner for the top floor and here is your top floor. You've got this nice bar, wine fridge, nice sink, the home tile, and then you've got that view, look at that. Not even your palm tree, you get to benefit from it. And back over here, let's see how tall we are. Eight foot eight, not too shabby on the top floor. I like the embedded lights, of course, you know, I like our lights and great cabinetry, nice and deep, nice and soft, matches in coordinates with the staircase. And then back over here, you do have one bathroom. Let me turn this on. Great lighting, nice and deep. And then back here is your Romeo or your Juliet, you know, Juliet balcony style. You're set back a little bit from the back. And there is your neighbor, the green belt that is your neighborhood. Look at that tall uh, Twin Peaks there. It's really just a quite bright and spacious space. Now, let's go downstairs to the lower level. Yeah, how are you? Good to see you. Good, thanks. Oh, no problem. It's always, it, people add scale. That's all I say. There is the patio again. Remember, parapet patio. Great detailing. Let's go down here. Nice airy feel. Laundry over here. And let's keep going down. All the noise, all the construction, it's done, I swear. <laughs> Let me go down. I will take that. So downstairs, 10 feet tall, tall ceilings, right? And it's all good? Oh, 10 and a half. Woo! So down here, 10 and a half foot ceilings, we do get the garage, which is this one? This one, yay. Look at that. So, oh, screens there. You've got your sprinklers, engineering. You've got all the inner working. Oh my goodness, look at that. You gotta love that. You've got your uh, boiler there. You've got your manifold distribution system. Really, it's an A2. I love that. It's, you know, when you get those diagram charts or things, that's how it is. So coming in here, you have laundry, a little mud sink here, and then you've got the smart hub there, all the wiring. Coming down here, you have one bedroom, tall. So wow, that really is quite tall and a really large bathroom. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's turn this on here. Uh, nice lighting, floating vanity with a nice thin reveal profile. And back here, really large shower. Wow, yeah, look at that. With a nice texture tile, nice deep niche there. We're all about niches. Cause you know in the shower, you know, you gotta have lots of stuff. So it's always good to have a place to store it. And then over here, you've got the Bedroom part, look at that. Well, not bedroom, living room part. But you could, I suppose, make it into a bedroom if you really wanted to. But I mean, that would be a lot of space here. So I think technically it is two units. And so that's why you do have a cooking surface here. It did a nice little induction uh, hob here from Gaganal. You've got your dishwasher nicely concealed, your uh, sink, and a little refrigerator here. Ooh, 
that's really pretty. Um, and then your other bathroom right here. Let's see here. Oh, again with the floaty vanity and good storage, all that stuff done well. Really quite tall ceilings. So before we go, oh hey, sorry about that. Let me check one thing. This I think is that that's your other uh that is your other entrance. So you could have this as a complete separate space with your own uh with your own entrance. And of course let's end up back here. 250 Jersey. Really just spectacular home in a sunny, perfect location in Noe Valley. You've got lots of details and you've got lots of thought and craft put into this house. So this is with David and Ron. Apparently the sprinklers are coming on. Uh, this is of course Kevin Ho uh, walking you through. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and thank you for uh, uh, Ron and David for letting us come through. This is a really spectacular one. All right, bye. Take care and see you the next one.